Hi everybody, Saul Marquez here with the Outcomes Rocket and today I'm at the MedTech Innovator Conference and I have the privilege of having Anna Lisa Somera, Chief Operating Officer of Reyes. Uh, Anna Lisa, why don't you give us a little bio on yourself and tell us a little bit about the company. Sure. Um, I'm the COO of Reyes. I've been working in the life science uh, medical device industry in particular for over 16 years, wearing many hats. I've done venture capital, tech transfer, started and sold my own device company, and have been a senior manager for several device companies since then. And uh, last year, I came across Reyes, um, and I just had to join it. It's so compelling, and I'm so glad to be a part of that company. So tell us a little bit more about Reyes. Um, what, what are you guys solving for in healthcare and what makes you different? Sure, sure. Reyes is addressing a problem that affects over 1 million Americans today. Actually, 300,000 babies and 700,000 adults who have a condition called hydrocephalus. Hmm. Hydrocephalus is characterized by excess fluid on the brain. So some people are born with it, like babies, or you acquire it later in life, like uh, 700,000 elderly. And there's no cure for it, nor there is a way to prevent it. The current treatment right now is the placement of an implantable shunt that is neurosurgically placed. And what it does is that it's a tubing that starts in the brain and makes its way all the way down to the belly to drain that excess fluid because it has to go somewhere. The problem is these shunts fail, and they fail almost all of the time. Half the time in the first year, and up to 100% of the time over 10 years. So patients who exhibit you know, shunt malfunction have nonspecific symptoms, so they can just have a headache, or be dizzy, or feel nauseous. And when this happens, they go to the ER. And when they go to the ER, they get expensive CT imaging done on them to see what's going on inside. CT imaging is expensive and it exposes the patients to dangerous ionizing radiation. So there's no inexpensive way to assess shunt function until now. Okay. And that's what we're doing at Reyes. We're developing a non-invasive wearable sensor that goes on the neck because that's where the shunt that drains that fluid is most prominent. So our sensor can assess whether or not there's flow going on within the shunt and also the magnitude of that shunt and lets the clinician know, um, you know what they should do next. That's really fascinating. So it, the measurement is, is of the shunt that was placed to fix the problem to begin with, correct? So it's the measurement of the fluid that's okay. actually supposed naturally. to be flowing. Yeah, it's naturally. supposed, yeah, naturally. Okay, it's supposed gotcha, to be gotcha. flowing, but sometimes it just stops flowing because there's obstruction, there's infection, or the shunt gets dislodged, and it happens so much. You know, we our device has actually been in trials over here at Northwestern and Lurie, and I've come across patients who, by the time they were teenagers, had a dozen surgeries already because that shunt has to be replaced. Every time there's something wrong with it, something has to be done, and most often it's a new shunt. So that's what we're trying. We're trying to, you know, solve the problem of just easily seeing what's going on inside that shunt. Fascinating. And so now there's an opportunity for clinicians to have visibility, whereas before they weren't. What is the technology that's enabling this? Sure, sure. So on the outside, on the outside, it looks like a band-aid. A band-aid on the neck that overlies the shunt. But inside are sophisticated electronics, actually thermal sensors, and also this little heating element called a thermal actuator. That thermal actuator delivers a little bit of heat to that area of interest just above the shunt, you know, on the skin. And when there's heat delivered, if there's flow within the shunt, that heat energy dissipates in the direction of the flow. Okay, so then there's thermal sensors that can detect the flow upstream and downstream, creating a thermal differential so that you can assess the magnitude of shunt, uh, of the shunt flow. And if there is no flow, then the heat would dissipate in like different directions, and then there wouldn't be that temperature differential. Got it. That makes a lot of sense. If you were to say there's one thing that inspires your work in, in healthcare, what what would you say that is? Easily, patient stories patient journeys, particularly 
pediatric uh, patient journeys and stories, um, I have come across some of the strongest kids that you know you'll ever meet, who are just you know champs, you know going through this condition that's chronic and lifelong, and then also talking to their parents who are fighters themselves, who are living you know with this chronic condition with their children, and as a parent that resonates with me. So you know now Reos is in a position where we can help pediatric patients and their parents and whenever I come across you know patients in the situation and, and and their parents that just fuels me it gets me going no matter how tired I am even with my own children I just get going because that's the fuel that gets us going I think that's brilliant uh, I want to just you know recognize and, and applaud you and your team for for the work that you guys have been doing if you had to have one call to action for the for the listeners and the viewers of this what would that be and where could they go to find out more about the technology and what you guys are doing I think uh, one of my you know, key things that I want to accomplish here at Reyes is that I want people to become more aware of hydrocephalus. When I talk about hydrocephalus to people, they think it's a rare disease. It's not. Over one million Americans have it. My call to action is that I would like more spotlight on hydrocephalus, and if I can get you know, people to think about this condition that affects so many people and so many hospitals, then I've done half of my job already. Love it. So the call to action is out there to the listeners and viewers. Make sure you know about this and the best place for them to visit or learn more about you guys. Sure. So you can visit our website at www.reos.com. It's R-H-A-E-O-S.com. And my name is Annalisa Samara, and I can be reached at A-S-O-M-E-R-A A -S -O -M -E -R -A at reos.com. Annalisa, thanks so much and wishing you the best of luck here at the event. Thank you.